humidity, weathering, surface smoothness, and temperature resistance. These are the uses of pillars and extenders. Okay, so mostly it is uh, pillars and extenders. It is used for it is used for stiffness, dimensional stability. Okay, dimensional stability, weathering, surface smoothness, and uh, temperature resistance. Okay, so in that uh, in that uh, carbor uh, carborundum. Carborundum, quartz, and mica they provide extra hardness. So examples of pillars are extenders. Okay, first one is carborundum, quartz, and mica. They provide extra hardness. The next one is asbestos. It provides heat and corrosion resistance. And the third one is barium salts. They are added to make plastic impervious to X-rays. Impervious to X-rays. So, what is the use of carborundum and carborundum? Carborundum. Anyone? Carborundum means it is a various types of various abrasive materials. Various abrasive materials, especially consisting of silicon carbide. Abrasive means abrasive. Um, did sandpaper? Anybody knows sandpaper? Sandpaper. Sandpaper, did you see sandpaper or not see? Where do you see 258? Where do you observe sandpaper? I ask sandpaper. Where do you see? What is the use of sandpaper? Yes, softening. Okay. Uh, same uh, carbonum also it is used to softening. Okay. So carbonum has a crystal structure like the top diamond and uh, and is almost as hard. It is used as an abrasive for cutting, grinding, and polishing as an anti-slip additive and as refractory okay is carborundum harder than diamond did you see carborundum so it is uh, it is nearly as hard as diamond and has been Synthesized synthetically and now naturally since the late 1800. Madam, why is Ratler, madam? In madam, why is madam? In peace, Sarika. Madam, why is bar glitch? I think, madam, aim in this cell level. Okay, 
so before painting they use it okay so now once check it so as the stores as the stores where do you observe as the stores roofing materials yes as the stores roofing roofing materials it provides heat and corrosion resistance okay so uh, it resembles like a cement roofing materials only okay barium salts they are added to make the plastic impervious to x rays and next one is stabilizers they are added to improve the thermal stability during processing example opaque molding stabilizers opaque what is the meaning of opaque opaque what is the meaning of opaque which we cannot see another side opaque okay we cannot uh, see out the other side so opaque molding stabilizers lead salts like uh, lead chromate white lead and red lead okay doesn't allow to see other side yes opaque means same uh, transparent transparent molding stabilizers steroids of lead cadmium and uh, barium they are used in transparent plastics stabilizers stabilizers are two types first one is opaque molding stabilizers and the second one is transparent molding stabilizers okay in first one is lead salt like lead chromate white lead and red lead they are used in opaque stabilizers and next one is transparent molding stabilizers steroids of lead cadmium and barium they are used in transparent plastics and next one is catalyst or acrylates what is the use of catalyst where do you observe catalyst anyone catalyst what is the meaning of catalyst and what is the use of catalyst to increase the rate of reaction without itself being consumed yes increase the speed of the reaction to not for good so without itself being consumed enzymes are naturally occurring catalysts responsible for many essential biochemical reactions during the reaction between chemical intermediate and uh, the reactant the catalyst is regenerated okay so they are added only in the case of uh, thermosetting plastics to accelerate the condensation polymerization to form cross linked polymers to form cross linked polymers example hydrogen peroxide benzyl peroxide metal oxide like zinc oxide can you anyone give examples some more examples of catalyst so first of all you have to know the use of catalyst to speed up the reaction without consume without itself being consumed to speed up the reaction without being itself consumed it is used uh, mainly in the mainly in thermosetting plastics to accelerate the condensation polymerization to form cross linked polymers so example is hydrogen peroxide what is the chemical formula of hydrogen peroxide peroxide hydrogen peroxide h2o2 yes yes benzyl peroxide anyone benzyl peroxide formula so all the 
बेंजल पेरोक्साइड सी फोर एच टेन वो फोर सी फोर एच टेन वो फोर एंड मेटल ऑक्साइड यू नो लाइक जिंक ऑक्साइड एंड वो टू एम जी वो टू ओके सो पिगमेंट्स एंड डाइस पिगमेंट्स एंड डाइस सो दे आर कलरिंग मेटीरियल दे प्रोवाइड एट्रैक्टिव कलर्स attractive colors to the plastics example inorganic pigments and the organic dyes carbon black carbon black it provides the black color okay pigments and dyes it uh, the they are coloring materials they provide attractive colors and the plastics and next one is zinc oxide it provides the white color chromium trioxide it provides the green color anti oxidation they are used to prevent oxidation degradation in polymers example diphenyl amines example diphenyl amines and phenyl t naphthyl amine okay and next topic is lubricants so what is the use of uh, lubricants already is there it reduces the friction during molding process between mold and article it also provides a glossy finish to the final product example waxes oils and steroids okay so lubricants what is the use of lubricants it reduces the friction okay so lubricant is a substance reduce the friction between the surface of mutual contact which ultimately reduces the heat generated when the surface move okay the property is reducing friction is known as lubricity in addition to industrial applications lubricants are used in many other purpose okay so what are lubricants used for facilitate relative motion of a solid bodies by minimizing friction means reduce the friction also you can say no problem okay what are common three common lubricants lubricant if you listen lubricant what do you remember if you listen lubricant name what do you remember mostly oils okay oil grease okay oil based water based and silicon based okay and next one is preparation properties and uses of pvc so first all of you open your books and write down the formulas it is very very important okay so preparation vinyl chloride is prepared by treating acetylene with hydrogen chloride at 60 to 80 degrees celsius in the presence of metal chloride as catalyst and it produces the vinyl chloride okay you can observe this is the diagram for acetylene acetylene ch triple bond ch plus hcl gives rise to vinyl chloride in the presence of 60 to 80 degree celsius in the presence of metal chloride as a catalyst metal chloride as a catalyst okay Sixty to eighty degrees Celsius in the presence of metal chloride as catalyst. Okay, so vinyl chloride is prepared by treating acetylene with hydrogen chloride, means hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid to forms the vinyl chloride. All of you students, write. Students, all of you write. Open your books and write.
మామ ఎగ్జామ్ ప్యాటర్న్ చెప్తా అన్నారుగా అయిపోయిన హైడ్రోజెన్ఆక్సైడ్ అండర్ ప్రెషర్ under pressure so pvc how we get pvc by heating by heating vinyl chloride this is the structure of vinyl chloride ch double bond chcl okay ch double bond chcl in the presence of benzyl peroxide or hydrogen peroxide under pressure okay then we can get the polyvinyl chloride all of you write it is very very important okay all of you write the formulas so you didn't do mistakes with the single bonds or double bonds it is very very important what is the full form of pvc all are know very well right when the discovery of pvc anyone then the discovery of pvc 1872 by german chemist eugen bauman after extended investigation and experimentation the polymer appeared as a white solid um, white solid inside a flask of vinyl chloride that had been left on a shelf sheltered from the sunlight for four weeks okay and the discovery of pvc 1872 all of you write the formulas it is very very important where is pvc found where is pvc found over the past few decades polyvinyl chloride plastic commonly known as vinyl has become one of the most widely used in uh, packaging home furnishing children toys automobile parts building materials hospital supplies and uh, hundreds of other products okay hundreds of uh, other products what is the origin of pvc pvc is an extra heat extra hot beef originate from the winter kids and comes before normal hot beef what was pvc first used for you know pvc pipes anyone pvc pipes you know anybody knows pvc pipes began to be installed for residential drinking water distribution and waste pipelines most are still in service 
until of PVC pipe in North America. Did you write the formula? Next one is um, PVC properties. PVC properties. PVC is a colorless, odorless, and chemically inert. Chemically inert powder. It is soluble in inorganic solvents and alkalis, but soluble in hot chlorinated hydrocarbons such as ethyl chloride. It undergoes degradation in presence of heat or light. Heat or light okay so the melting point um, the melting temperature is uh, 212 to 500 degrees uh, of a foreign heat and degree celsius 100 to 260 degree celsius the melting temperature of pvc is uh, 100 to 260 degree celsius okay so the tensile strength it is a uh, very flexible pvc 6.9 to 25 MPA and it is a very rigid. Okay. What is used for PVC? What is used for what is PVC used for? PVC is a versatile material that offers many possible right window frames drainage pipes water service pipe medical devices okay stationary automotive automotive interiors and the seat coverings fashion and footwear packaging is pvc water resistant is PVC water resistance? Yes. Yes. PVC is uh, useful because it resists two things that hate each other, fire and water. Because of its water resistance, it's used to make uh, raincoats and uh, shower curtains and of course water pipes. It has uh, flame resistance too because it contains chlorine. Okay. So it is a fire and water resistant PVC. Okay. Is PVC good material? Yes. It is a good material, durable materials that uh, resistant to weathering, which is why it's so often used to building and consumption. It also resistant to chemical and doesn't conduct, conduct electricity, making in crucial for use in high-tech applications such as wire and cables so and uses already it is used to production of pipes cables insulators table covers and rain pores etc it is also used for making sheets which which are employed for tank line tank linings light fittings refrigerator components etc and next topic is uh, teflon or teflon or fluon or polytetrafluoroethylene the short form of uh, teflon is uh, ptfe so teflon has uh, three names uh, teflon fluon polytetrafluoroethylene and another one is ptfe okay so Teflon is obtained by polymerization of water emulsion of tetrafluoroethylene in presence of benzyl peroxide under pressure. Okay, so this is the formula of tetrafluoroethane. Here, four, um, four, uh, four elements of fluorine is present. Okay, so here are two fluorines and here four, two. So total four, tetrafluoroethane. Ethane means eth, two carbons, ene, double bond, okay? So CF2 double bond, CF2, and tetrafluoroethane, okay? So in the presence of, in the presence of benzyl peroxide under pressure, under pressure. 
so all of you write these formulas it is very very important write the reaction polytetrafluoroethylene is a synthetic fluoropolymer of tetrafluoroethylene that has numerous applications the commonly known brand name ptfe based compositions is teflon by chemorus a spin off from dew point which originally discovered the compound 1938 and the melting point of teflon is 327 degrees celsius and the formula of ptfe is c2f4n c2f4n okay so what is the iupac id poly 1,1 2,2 tetrafluoroethylene okay and the thermal conductivity is 0.25 Okay. All of you, write the diagram. Is PTFE harmful to humans? Is PTFE harmful to humans? Unless it is heated over three hundred degrees Celsius. So, what is the melting point of? PTFE three hundred and twenty seven degrees Celsius. Okay, so what three hundred degrees Celsius PTFE is an inert, stable, and non dangerous material. Nobody should cook at this temperature in case of somebody did PTFE degradation would produce uh, some steam, which even though it's not very dangerous for human health, it's not recommended to unnecessary breathe it. Okay. So up to three hundred degrees, ah, uh, we can cook anywhere. Okay. What is PTFE used in in industrial applications? Owing to its low friction, PTFE it is used for plane bearings, gear, slide plates, seals, gaskets. Bushings and more applications with sliding action of parts where it outperforms acetyl and nylon. Acetyl and nylon is PTFE cancerous. Is PTFE cancerous? A cancer journey can be overwhelming. Over the years, cancers have been raised. About how PTFE may affect human health, especially does PTFE cause cancer? According to experts, said it is a no. So PTFE it is not harmful for our health. Okay. And properties. Teflon is a extremely tough, flexible, flexible material, possessing high softening point, uh, about three hundred and fifty degrees Celsius. Generally, three hundred and twenty-seven degrees Celsius. It possesses externally good electrical and uh, mechanical properties. Mechanical properties. It is chemically resistant towards all chemicals except hot alkali, metal, and uh, and hot fluorine. It has an excellent thermal stability. It has an external thermal stability. Uses. It is used. As very good electrical insulating materials in motor cables, transformers, electrical fittings, it is also used for making gaskets, packaging, pump parts, 
tank lining etc and it is used making non sticking stock box for burets also so it is mostly made uh, used in gases plumbing materials also okay